Okay, we have just um, entered all of the transactions for period 1 for Gan Seniran Berahat. Okay, um, now we will see, we will see how do we um, edit those transactions. Okay, we have here, um, in our case, we have several things that we want to edit. For example, we want to change the sales to Centronic on 5th of January 2010 from 3000 to 3100. Okay, uh, so we want, to, we want to edit the transaction. Okay, so first we need to find our transaction. So we could, uh, to find our transaction, we could click transactions and click transaction file maintenance and try to browse and find our, uh, the relevant transaction that we want to edit. It was a sale to Centronic. So uh, here the transaction file maintenance would sort based on the batch number. So first it shows the batch number one. So we just, when you click, click the play, button it will go to the sales journal this next sales journal that we have entered our transaction so it's uh, uh, batch number three okay so we we know that this is the batch that we want to edit um so the date of the transaction that we want to edit is uh 5 of january um the transaction that was made to centronic computers okay so here the account description is that uh, Centronic Computers okay, and the debit amount of 3000 and the credit amount of 3000 we can simply to edit the amount we need to click the edit button here and it will open up the transaction that we want to edit um, this is uh, the transaction to Centronic Computers okay we want to edit um from 3000 to 3100 so we just edit here and click save but now when we save it it says batch 3 not balance because we have edited on only one side of the journal not the other side so if you see the summary of transactions under batch number 3 we have a debit transaction of 3100 to centronic computers and the corresponding journal entry was a credit of 3000 um, into the sales account so we need to edit this one as well to make it balance okay so click edit and now it opens up the record for the sales uh, journal entry okay so we um, this is where we want to edit okay uh, we change the credit amount from 3000 to 3100 and click save all right now it shows green on both sides which means that our batch our sales journal batch has already been balanced with the changes that we uh, require so that is one of the edits that we want to do okay let's see what's the second edit that we want to do uh, the second edit is on 31st <coughs> of January 2010, Gansin Demarak purchased a motorbike of 2000 by paying cash. And it says use 2300, 2030 as the account number for motorbike. If we try to recall here from our chart of accounts within the 2000, 2000 range, we don't have a motorbike um, fixed asset account. So um, we can. Um, if I exit here first, we can add the account uh, by going to general ledger and doing it um, from here, uh, adding it here and then we enter the transaction for purchasing the motorbike. But if we are already in the transaction for maintenance page, we can actually key in the transaction even though we don't have the account yet. Okay. Let's say we want to um, add a transaction for the motorbike and we let's say we use the quick method and the master account we use the account that we already have and we are purchasing the we are purchasing the motorbike um, 
by paying cash okay so we, we are using the cash account okay so the batch number which is this is um cash um cash payment batch so we use this one cash payment for january 2010 Day one and then the date was uh 31st of january 2010 and here we want to enter the account for motorbike but we haven't created the account the motorbike account yet so um the question suggested that we use 2030 as the account number so at uh, this box we just enter 2030 and press enter so when UBS detects that the account uh, is, uh, does not exist then it suggests that we create this account okay no such account create this account and you click yes now it will open up the general ledger account maintenance and here we can straight away enter the new account um the account number as we have entered before 2030 and motorbike is a fixed asset account and just click save so now it goes back takes us back to transaction file maintenance and just press enter and now motorbike accounts appears uh, in the uh, journal entry and then uh, let's assume there's no reference number um, and and for motorbike account we will debit with the amount that is being paid for the motorbike which is 2000 ringgit okay because we use a quick method then we only need to enter on one side of the journal we click save okay so we have that uh, we have entered uh, if we click cancel and within the cash payments uh, batch we see that we have on the 31st of January we have uh, debited the motorbike account of 2000 and credited cash account of 2000 okay so that's um, that's the second editing that we need to do uh, the third editing that we need to do is that here it says Mr. Gunn discovered that there is no cash sales of 750 on 3rd of 3rd of January 2010 okay and the company wanted to delete the transaction okay so to delete a transaction there's a little bit of a procedure it, there's no delete button here okay there's no delete button over here so we cannot uh, we, we cannot delete the button just by going at this screen okay so first of all um, we need to identify where which batch the transaction occurred so it's um no cash sale so it's a um, cash sale uh, batch okay let's find our cash sale batch just by browsing through cash that's cash receipts okay cash receipts cash cash sale will be there okay and we have and the relevant transaction is dated third of january so it's actually this transaction okay i will show you uh, one way of editing we can edit this transaction by zeroing the the figures by clicking edit and go to each of the general trans general entries but we can also go to v edit v edit will open up all of the transactions within the batch that we can edit straight away over there okay um all right the one that we want to uh, delete is a, a third of january transaction there's no edit there's no delete button so what we need to do is first we need to zero out the amount okay so zero out this one the first entry uh, the, the debit entry and zero out the credit entry okay so that's uh, one process of deleting 
but we will soon see if we try to see the transactions that are that have existed that these trans these two transactions will still be there even though they are in terms of the figures they are cor uh, correct we have corrected the figure but the transaction is still there but we want to actually remove the transaction altogether so next what we need to do is add the reference because there's no there's not supposed to be any reference because there's not supposed to be a transaction so we need to remove the reference number uh, not by just pressing delete but putting a star putting stars across across the the box okay this is uh, um, telling UBS that this record needs to be deleted when we put the reference as stars and the and the zero and zero as the amount okay so similarly we do for the other side of the general entry we put star across the reference uh, for for these two transactions click save okay but still when you see the list of transactions within the cash receipts batch you will still see the transaction here although the, the amount is zero but the transaction is still there we want to delete it permanently so after doing this uh, click exit click housekeeping and um, file file organization okay click file organization and one of the options under file organization is delete unwanted uh, transaction okay we can just uh, let the other um, uh, checklist uh, be checked but the more important one is we want to delete unwanted transaction so by uh, putting in stars in the reference uh, box as well as zero in the amounts for the transaction debit and credit so we are indicating to UBS that those journal entries are the ones that we want to delete okay so we click OK and it will do the file organization to delete the one unwanted transaction okay it says there update completed click OK and click cancel okay now if we go back to transactions transaction file maintenance and we scroll back to the cash cash uh, receipts journal now transaction dated 3rd of january is gone has been deleted successfully so that is how we delete unwanted transaction